Salut everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Zina speaking. I am going to speak about uh, today how to check the crown seating. Uh, so today my topic is in prosthetic dentistry or prosthodontics. But before we continue, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below for more and more videos. So there are five important steps that need to be followed in order for the crown to be seated uh, completely without any issues from the patient. Number one, whether you are using zirconia crown or porcelain fused to metal crown or single visit crown that is done via cat and cam, uh, you will place the crown and then ask if there is any high point so you need to ask the patient ask him to bite and check if there is any high point if there is anything that is annoying him if there is anything that is annoying annoying him this is called the high point at the end now you know that we have two contact we have the occlusal contact and we have the proximal contact now, regarding the occlusal contact, the high point can be checked via articulating paper. How to place the articulating paper? I will show you in the picture right after that. So you will place this articulating paper like that. Okay, then you will ask the patient to bite and ask him to move right and left as if he is uh, using uh, chewing gum. Okay right left keep right left this is referred to as a centriculation and centric occlusion so you are checking the contact in centriculation and centric occlusion okay uh, then remove it and then it will show you it will mark for you where is the high point in the crown okay now this is a small picture that you can see down this is the articulating paper and the picture that you can see uh, on the tier, these spots, these are the high points that are marked via the articulating paper once you ask the patient to open his mouth after he is done with biting. You see that these are all high points. Now these high points, you need to remove it. How you will remove it, I will tell you after. Now, I told you about the occlusal contact. We removed the high point from the occlusal contact. Now, how you can check the proximal contact, if, there is, if the proximal contact is good or not. First of all, before what, what's written on the screen, you need to pass the floss interproximally in order to check if uh, the floss can pass easily in between okay or if there is a tight contact between the crown and the tooth structure next to it that is number one so you need to pass the floss interproximally to check if there is a tight contact between the teeth or no if there is no tight contact then you can also check in addition to that in addition to the floss you will use the shim stock what is shim stock as you can see in the picture uh this the metal part this is the, called the shim stock the shim stock is similar to the articulating paper but it is thinner and because it is thinner so it can be used interproximally so shim stock is used for interproximal contact the articulating paper is thicker than the shim stock so it will be used only for the occlusal contact now we recorded the high points uh, for the occlusal contact, you can remove the high point via the high speed football bear, as you can see in the picture down below. This is the football bear that I am speaking about. Uh, now, regarding the uh, interproximal contact, if the interproximal contact, if there is a very tight contact, you can adjust this tight contact via the needle bear. Needle bear. After you check if there is any high point via the shim stock this uh, uh the points the high points can be removed via the needle bear needle bear will be used interproximally and football bear will be used for the occlusal contact all are high speed we will never use the low speed uh, bears in prosthetic dentistry for the crown seating and all of these 
Now, once you remove the high point occlusally and interproximally, everything is good. We ask the patient if there is any high point. If there is no high point, then we will cement it via the resin modified glass ionomer cement, which is the best type of cement to be used in order to cement the crown in place at the end. And very important that once you place the resin modified glass ionomer cement inside the crown, before light curing the cement, you need to remove the excess cement via passing the plus interproximally in order to remove any excess cement because we don't want any excess cement to be there that will interfere with the occlusion of the patient at the end. And if you are done with everything, you can just double check via taking a bite wing x-ray uh, after you're done with light cure of the cement, you can double check for the crown seating and if there is any remnant of the resin modified glass isomer cement by taking a bite wing x-ray, a good bite wing x-ray will be taken in order to confirm if there is any uh, excess of the cement that is left behind. That's it, I am done for now. If you have any questions, please do write it down in the comment section below. And don't forget to press the like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos so that it will reach many people as much as possible. Thank you all and goodbye.